Hey guys, welcome back to The Binger. Harry Potter may have finished years ago, but the movie franchise lives on in our hearts and minds. And on our screens in the Fantastic Beast saga, of course, Hogwarts didn't just make wizards out of their students, but stars out of their actors. Some of the cast were already at the top of their game, while others, like our main three, were unknowns. So, how did the movies help boost their careers? Who's earning the most now? Join us as we count down the highest earning actors ever to graduate from Dumbledore School. Ray Fiennes is one of Hollywood's finest actors, although he isn't one that you see on screen as much as others. He starred in some incredible movies, from Schindler's List to In Bruges. Of course, he was also Harry Potter's nemesis, he who shall not be named, but he who kind of always is anyway, Voldemort. He can't have the franchise without its main antagonist, which might explain his $30 million net worth. For the most part, Fiennes isn't in that many scenes. It's just that his role is so crucial to the overall story that it literally couldn't be done without him. Plus, that makeup had to take an incredibly long time to do, so he had to be compensated for that. It's not unusual for some actors to turn down roles that mean they would need to spend hours in the prep chair, so let's give credit where it's due. When we think of our high school bullies, we have to be thankful they didn't have any magical prowess beyond the flushing of a toilet. Draco Malfoy was the worst of the worst, but really, you can't blame him. He was born into a corrupted, evil family, so is it any wonder that he was a complete terror? Tom Felton has accrued a fortune of $35 million, which is a worthy sum, especially considering he's still pretty young. We were lucky to get around delivering papers for a few bucks a week, and there Felton was raking in the dough. His character was rich. Tom Felton himself is rich. Maybe that's where we're going wrong? If we start dressing as millionaires, will our bank balances mystically grow overnight? Tom has had some noteworthy roles since Harry Potter ended, including on CW's The Flash. He's still very much active in the Hollywood world, although these days he leaves his broomstick at the door. You can't blame him. They're so difficult to park these days, and janitors keep mistaking them for theirs. What's a guy to do? He's Commissioner Gordon, Dracula, and Sirius Black. Gary Oldman is the creme de la creme of acting talent from the United Kingdom. He's had so many roles that it's difficult to count, so when he signed on to Harry Potter, it was a win for everyone involved. He came at a price, though. Oldman is supposedly worth $50 million, and presumably, he has a big fat smile on his face. He's an Oscar-winning sensation, but Potter fans know him simply as Harry's godfather and protector. The actor did an impeccable job of bringing the character to life, so much so that it's likely no one else would have ever been able to do serious justice. Although, we know Heath Ledger once asked him why he was so serious on the set of The Dark Knight. <laughs> Sorry, just couldn't resist throwing that joke in. And I'm sure we won't be the last. 50 million might sound like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, what his career has gained him is a drop in the ocean compared to his younger contemporaries. Emma Thompson and Gary Oldman have crossed paths many times over the years, cutting their teeth in the industry in the same era. That could explain why both of these veteran actors have similar fortunes. Thompson took on the part of kooky, wide-eyed Professor Trelawney. In many cases, she offered light relief in movies that got increasingly serious as they progressed. Aside from her dodgy predictions, one of Trelawney's most recognizable aspects is her aesthetic. Her unkempt hair, love of headscarves, and cats all make her a truly lovable character. Lest we forget when she was sacked by the Ministry of Magic when they started interfering in Hogwarts. She was devastated, leading most of us to sob along with her. Thompson earned every single dime of her astronomical paycheck. Bravo, Emma. Bravo. Bonus fact, Emma was once married to Kenneth Branagh, who left her for Helena Bonham Carter after they shot Frankenstein. Awkward! Thankfully, the three actors seem to have moved on from their 90s exploits and buried the hatchet with one another and not in one another. 
Now we're getting down to the thick of it with our first member of the terrific trio. Rupert Grintz became a firm fan favorite with his depiction of lovable Ron Weasley. He played the part to a T, bringing Ron's humorous, often self-deprecating wits to life. Unlike his co-stars Emma Watson and Daniel Radcliffe, Grintz has largely stayed out of the limelight. Most of his wealth came from the franchise, with acting jobs since being few and far between. It's important to note that it's not like he's trying and failing to get parts, he's just happy being financially secure. That doesn't mean he hasn't dipped in and out of the industry to top up his $50 million fortune, though. In 2017, he starred in and executively produced the TV series Snatch, based on the movie of the same name. Grinch seems to prefer the small screen over the big ones these days, with TV shows often turning into hits bigger than blockbuster movies, it's hardly any wonder that this is where some actors are choosing to turn. After all, it's guaranteed work for a longer period of time than six months. Helena Bonham Carter is a force to be reckoned with. She's done some stinkers in her time, like Kenneth Branagh's Frankenstein, but we'll forgive her. The actress has starred in some fan favorites like Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, and Fight Club. Her talent is limitless, and when it came to playing Bellatrix Lestrange, she was an interstellar choice. No one does dark and morbid quite like her. She was married to Tim Burton, remember? As far as earnings go, Carter has raked in $60 million for her efforts on the franchise, as well as her body of work outside of it. She may have been a villain, but audiences still loved to watch her on screen. In fact, Helena was so dedicated to her craft that she once accidentally burst the eardrum of a fellow actor by poking a wand too far in his ear. If that's not wizarding malice, then what is? Her estimated worth is a sum most of us can only dream about, while pouring out another shake at Mickey D's. <sighs> Clearly, Kenneth Branagh's divorce from Emma Thompson didn't dent his bank balance too much way back when. If it did, then it soon rebounded thanks to his constant presence in the biz. These days, Branagh sleeps in a bed of $100 bills. Well, he probably doesn't, but we would if we had $60 million. Heck, we would if we had a hundred bucks. Branagh has many talents, and acting is just one of them, as he displayed with his zealous portrayal of Gilderoy Lockhart. He's a successful director, producer, and writer so if he runs out of roles, he can simply create one for himself. That's not bad going. Old Ken has starred in Thor, Murder on the Orient Express, and Cinderella, to name a few of his acting credits. Given his extensive body of work, it's unlikely you'll ever see Brana searching for pennies down the side of a couch. He might be getting a little longer in the tooth, but Ken is still a red carpet staple and a happy addition to any project, even if two of his ex-lovers are involved. Out of the three main cast members, Emma Watson has arguably been the most successful. Sorry, fellas, but this girl is running the world. At least in Hollywood. The Hermione actress has gone on to win countless awards and starred in movies like The Perks of Being a Wallflower and Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Emma has landed numerous campaigns with designer labels and has also been advocating for good causes. All her work, Harry Potter included, has kept her $18 million ahead of the curve. The star still has her whole life ahead of her to top that sum up too. At this rate, she'll be one of the richest celebrities on earth by the time she's done. Through it all, Watson has managed to maintain a squeaky clean image and shied away from scandal. Maybe Hermione's goody two-shoes character left a lasting impression. You wouldn't find Hogwarts' finest stumbling in and out of bars at 3am and getting caught on camera, would ya? Although it has to be said that Emma did a great job of parodying herself in Seth Rogen's venture, the end. Yes, he wasn't one of the main stars, we can't get around that, but Harry Potter did help launch the career of Robert Pattinson. Cedric Diggory may have only reared his head in The Goblet of Fire, but it was a solid enough acting credit to land Pattinson future gigs. Before long, he was starring next to cross-eyed Kristen Stewart in The Twilight Saga as heartthrob vampire Edward Cullen. Took him a little while to distance himself from the character he played for several years, but now he focuses on dark, mature parts. He played the Dauphin of France 
France in Netflix's The King opposite Timothy Chalamet and took over from Ben Affleck as Batman. He's a grade-A superstar with an impressive fan base, which largely explains his $100 million safely tucked away in the kitty. Pattinson is still unassuming and quite shy, which only goes to boost his profile. He's pushed himself further into the Hollywood it crowd. Rob hasn't put a foot wrong yet. Finally, at our number one spot is Daniel Radcliffe, aka Harry Potter himself. Danny Boy earned an honest living in his youth as the titular character, but his endeavors didn't stop there. He has starred in some questionable movies since, like Horns, and has also branched out to Broadway, television, and even YouTube. He's done well for himself. His notoriety post-Potter may not be up to Emma Watson's par, but he's a darn sight richer with a net worth of $125 million. Sure, it's not all about money, but it certainly helps keep the worries at bay, doesn't it? Saying that, it's thought that $90 million of Radcliffe's fortune came directly from the J.K. Rowling movies. He's got the Wizarding World to thank for an awful lot, like his sprawling mansions and, you know, lifelong security. There you have it. Are you surprised by the facts, or did they meet your expectations? Do you think these numbers are deserved? Sound off below. Before you go, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Until next time, thanks for watching.